Today, I have decided I wasn't going to vlog today, but I've decided I'm going to, and you guys are going to spend the day with me whilst I go and get a tattoo. <laughs> very strange, very random, but I'll let you into the story. So, basically, my middle sister Beth, as you guys might know as Bulldog, decided for my birthday she would treat me to a new tattoo. Now I haven't had a tattoo, like a new tattoo for, I'm saying ages. I actually got my yin and yang on my foot when I was on holiday with the girls, but it's like, it's smaller than a 5p. So it didn't hurt at all. Um, but before then, I can't even remember the last time I got a tattoo. I do have tattoos, obviously. I have seven, eight, I think I've got eight. Um, but I think the last time I had a tattoo was oof, a long time ago. I'm going to say even like up to like maybe like eight years ago, seven, eight years ago. I'm not sure. It's been a very long time anyway. And then when we were on holiday, I got a text obviously from our Beth on my birthday saying that she's booked us in for a tattoo together. So that is what we're doing today we are getting matching tattoos which <laughs> i'm super excited for so i would show you guys the design but i don't actually have it on my phone basically i'm gonna get mine there on my fore like my arm just there and our back's getting his on the back of her ankle and we've just picked a pretty design guys i'm not gonna lie we haven't gone for something <laughs> meaningful or anything like that we've literally just picked something that we both like and that is the plan today we're just gonna pop into Wigan get our tattoos grab some dinner I might even pop into Primark and see what they've got I haven't had a Primark haul I haven't done a Primark haul sorry for a long time though I don't really need anything but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of window shopping and then I think the plan is when I get home, me and Paul are just going to have a pretty cosy, chilled evening. Um, the weather is meant to be bad. <laughs> it's actually sunny right now. It's like really sunny right now. But come dinner time, it is meant to be horrendous, like torrential rain. So yeah, I've dressed for autumn, although I am absolutely freezing. I've just got simple leggings on, oversized jumper, and I'm just going to wear my Ugg dupes. See, this is the one thing I love about autumn. I love all the autumn fashion. Like, give me the cosy knits, the leggings, the nice boots, the scarves. Oh, I can't wait for a scarf. And some chunky, oversized coats and jackets. That is a bit of me. So as usual, guys, grab yourself your favourite snack, your favourite drink, and get ready to spend the day with me little outfit check i've just gone for something super simple super cozy i definitely need to clean this mirror look at the state of the dust on there um this jumper is from h&m it's actually about two years old but uh, you just can't go wrong with a h&m knit they are so comfy so cozy they wash really well and they keep really well so when you buy from like H&M and stuff like that, I do feel like it lasts. So I am prepared to pay a little bit extra, but I love how oversized it is. And yeah, 
Team It Wave leggings and my new, because <laughs> I've already got like four pairs, my new um, Tasman dupes, which I got from Boohoo, which I've not actually opened yet, so we'll open together. I do need to sort out this room because it is a mess, basically. A big mess. But you know, obviously, where I've moved all of our orange look at the kitchen guys oh i love it leftover chinese there of course and um, but yeah where i've taken all of the orange autumnal bits out i have put them in here so i do need to sort out in here max made himself a little den last night oh i do love this cushion so i think that's my plan later on as well is just spruce up in here get everything ready and tidied up there's a random toilet roll on my coffee table. Yeah, that is my plan for later on. Clean and tidy this place. But my kitchen is looking. Why does my boiler always come on when I'm filming in here? My kitchen is looking very nice. Very nice indeed. I just wanted to uh, ugh, I just wanted to say as well, thank you so much for everyone's gorgeous comments and likes on my kitchen reveal because i was really nervous considering i didn't like how it went in part two part three went down a lot better but yeah i do actually really like it and i'm growing to love the white shells but i do have a non-colored shelves like the the original shelves i do have the original shelves on like, only a phone call away if I do want to change them back. The lovely people who I got these from were so understanding and said, I wasn't the first person to paint the shelves and not like it, and I probably won't be the last. So, yeah, if I ever do want to go back to the original shelves, then I can get them, thank God. But for now, I am loving how it's all tied together. And it has made the kitchen feel so much bigger and brighter. So, yeah, I'm loving it, guys. But... I'm going to go get my new Tasman Ugg dupes and we can open them up together. I swear to God, I'm going to have them in every colour. I just love them. I need to get my, uh, I need to find a black pair because I actually saw, I actually sent my original Ugg ones back because for the quality that you can get in the dupes, I just feel like it's a no-brainer. Like for the price of the actual proper Ugg ones, I've literally bought five pairs of dupes, so yeah, I just need a black pair to add to my collection and then I quite literally have them in every colour. Boohoo, of course. I would say 99% of my wardrobe is from Boohoo. I just find that the clothes just fit exactly what I want and the sizing's really good and yeah I, it's just the shop that I keep going back to and back to I've shopped it's a shop that I've shopped there for ages and this isn't an ad or anything I just genuinely do love boohoo I love a boohoo haul so my Tasman dupes I think every pair that I've got apart from my Primark ones are from Boohoo. So Boohoo is the place if you are looking for Tasman dupes. Like, I've wanted a pair of these with the burgundy rim for as long as you can remember. And the li there's no difference. The only difference is it doesn't have Ugg on the side. That is it. But yeah, they're what I think I'm going to wear today. Ooh, with this outfit. I always go for my normal size, guys, and I'm a size five, so... So yeah, they are what I picked up. I did also pick up a jumper, which is giving me Sisters and Seekers vibes. I'll get it out to show you. I love Sisters and Seekers, but I just can't justify the price. And for the amount of time I'll probably wear it, I just, I, I always try and find a cheaper alternative. And I actually feel like this, is such a dupe for like how their jumpers look 
so yeah i picked up that and i was thinking of wearing this even with like a black skirt and my black cowboy boots or even like my black leggings and black tasman dupes or even dressed up a little bit with leather leggings and like a nice pair of boots like either like a doc martin dupe or like something with a little heel yes i really really like that the last thing oh is this now this is actually very much out of my comfort zone but they look so good on everyone else. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in the shot, but it's a beige denim midi or maxi, whichever one it is, skirt. Now, whether these are actually going to look nice, whether this is actually going to look good on me is a completely different question, but I'm willing to give it to give it a go. Even like this with like a nice cropped chunky knit and not the bag. These, I feel like that would even be like such a cute outfit, like an outfit to go like for a Sunday dinner win or yeah, just like grabbing coffee with the girls. I really like this, but whether it actually looks right on me, we will find out. And that is my little boohoo haul, guys. I just love a little top up. And if I see something that I like in the new in section, then I usually just have to grab it. But I'm gonna try them on later and see what I think. But for now, I am gonna pop these on, find a coat, get ready, and then, yeah, head to Wigan for our tattoos. Sometimes everything just gets hard. Sometimes everything just gets harder. She'll get this one done and then she'll want another one. <laughs> she will. It's always the way. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't think that you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see. Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy You can do whatever you like You don't have to be ready You just gotta try So how'd you feel? I am sore. <laughs> Beth found it is really that painful. Me. I don't know if it was just because of where she had it though. Obviously she had hers on like the uh, bottom Achilles. of is it that would call the like, bottom of your calf, like by your ankle. Um the one though, don't get me wrong, there was points of mine where it was like a little bit stingy. But I suppose it's different because I knew what to expect. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it's not happening again. Oh, I do love them though. Do you love it? Yeah. 
it's cute. It is cute. It'll look, it look hot girl summer next year. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for a birthday present, though. Yeah, it's alright. Hey, she finally got a tattoo with me. You can do whatever you like. We are actually going to quickly get dressed, like get ready, and then we're gonna take little miss out, aren't we? My Hello Fresh box has arrived, and obviously we went to Primark this morning. So I've got a little Primark haul to show you guys as well, but for now, we're feeling like a dead cute autumnal walk so we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna take Tilly round the little woods that's just by our house and just have a little walk before it starts raining. if he gets covered in mud because I not get my shoes <laughs> he doesn't do muddy like i love muddy we've so we've spoken about this before haven't we like yeah. i love camping getting dirty do you know what i mean like being out so outdoors doesn't, hotels and doesn't bother and me bedding. at all like i would much rather spend the night in a tent I told you in the outside on. just chilling campfire do you know what i mean like oh all of that smoke all of that outside goodness Whereas that's like Paul's worst nightmare. So <laughs> we've come to his least favourite place and no, my no, favourite like And my favourite place. I like, no, correct. And I like rough wood when it's been dry for about three weeks. I don't think it's that muddy. No, well, it's not to be fair. As long as we stay on the beaten track. <laughs> so we've just brought little Miss for a little sniff and a little Poop. play around the woods and then <laughs> First wee of the walk. <laughs> and then I feel like we're going to go grab a coffee because I need a coffee. I am absolutely shattered today. What do you think of my new tattoo? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> who else, know, who else am I going to be asking? The people watching. The tree. <laughs> well, yeah, babe, I'm asking you. Do you like my new tattoo? Where yeah, are I like you? It. Uh, are you there? You I like it? it? Yeah. It is really cute, to be nice. fair. Beth's got hairs on the bottom of her calf like what's it called like just above her ankle Achilles. yeah she thought it hurt though she was wincing halfway through i don't think it hurt at all <laughs> but then again it might just be because i got i might have got mine in a place that didn't hurt that much but it's not my first tattoo so not i don't think first rodeo, is it? <laughs> i didn't think it hurt at all but yeah <laughs> come on Look, so yeah we're gonna have a little walk around the woods guys and then, oh, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel over there. You're not going to see it. It's going to run. Where? Over there by that, by oh, that yeah. bush. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go home, have a, a chilled, cosy night before Paul's back in work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm off. <laughs> Get on it, there's absolutely no one. <laughs> 
myself the most incredible hot chocolate gingerbread with squirty cream and magic stars on top you're not getting much better than that mm. oh guys mm. just the thing that you need after a long autumnal sunset walk in the woods what more could you want? First, I thought I would show you what I picked up from Primark. Now, I didn't pick up much, but there are a few bits in here that I am super excited about. So I thought I would start off with this skirt. Now, I am a sucker for a leather skirt or leather leggings or anything along them lines especially in autumn winter because they just go with everything so i picked up a new leather skirt this was 10 pounds how pretty is that and it's like a stretchy material so you just know it's going to look absolutely stunning. So yeah, I picked up that. Alongside that, I also picked up this little striped jumper with a roll neck. This was £8. How stunning is that? I love a nice little thin jumper just to go over when the when the weather's not overly cold but you can't not wear a jacket this with a leather jacket or even like a nice aviator jacket my leather skirt and some nice knee-high boots yes that is screaming screaming like christmas markets or brunch with the girls or christmas shopping I'm so excited guys how stunning the next thing that I picked up I don't know if it's actually gonna fit because I've not bought jeans from Primark for the longest time now back when I was a little bit bigger I could never fit into Primark jeans and so I think because of that I do actually have a little bit of like just a fear when it comes to them I have gone for my normal size I did go for a size 8. These were £16. And they are the straight leg high rise jeans. Now, whether they're actually going to fit me or not is a different question. But I did pick them up. And I thought they would go lovely with this chunky cardigan. I got this in an extra small and it was £15. It is, it is oversized, so that's why I sized down. But just put them two together with, hold it, this bow. £3, guys. How stunning is the colour? And I just thought that in my hair with a chunky knit, jeans and my tasman dupes screams like the most perfect sunday cozy sunday dinner kind of vibe that is a bit of me the other thing that i am extremely excited about <laughs> guys guys i couldn't not look 
at that four pounds it is just stunning that is screaming home sense only you would literally pay easy 10 pound for something like that four pounds these two were by far my favorite purchases love them both and that's what i picked up from primark guys we didn't look for anything else because we were just kind of passing the time in between our um tattoo appointment and getting there early but as you can see guys oh that is my tattoo obviously me and beth got the same Our very first matching tattoos our sister tattoos i just had a really lovely day with her today she treated me to my dinner out in pesto as well for my birthday because i was on holiday and then she was in tunisia so i didn't actually see her for my birthday i didn't see her until we, she got home like the week later so yeah that was just really nice to spend some time with her today so yeah that was really nice it was really cozy and obviously i love spending time with my sister anyway so yeah it was really really nice guys so what i think i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna finish my hot chocolate i'm gonna put this away and then i'm gonna set to and make our crumble crumble and then i'm thinking bubble bath fresh pjs chilling on the couch with a christmas film and yeah just a pretty cozy night so yeah i'm gonna enjoy this and then make our crumble crumble how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder how come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder We've just enjoyed our crumble crumble. Paul is running me a nice hot bubble bath and I am gonna leave today's vlog here guys. It has been so nice spending the day with you guys. It's been such a cute lovely little day as well like just one of those days where it's just been so nice but I am definitely ready for a nice bath some pjs getting on the couch watching a film snuggling up with paul and then getting a nice early night so as always thank you so much for spending the day with me thank you so much for watching this week's vlog obviously as always your love and support means the absolute world to me and i just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who does message me over on instagram saying how much they enjoy the vlogs it really does mean a lot to me just to know that you guys like what i'm doing <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i i wing it most days 
most days i don't really have like a plan as such i probably should try and like plan my content a bit more plan like my days a bit more um and it's definitely something that i'm gonna improve on but so far i am definitely loving my return to youtube and as i said as always your love and support just means the absolute world to me so thank you so much guys but for now i am gonna love you and leave you and i am gonna catch you guys up on my next vlog good night sometimes everything just gets hard